So guys, welcome back to another one and yeah, you already read the title, you already seen the thumbnail, so let's get straight into it guys, I know no Gotr gameplay for today because we ain't gonna talk about those summons, but what I have for you today is of course Shaltir because there are two and I mean literally two vampires in this game. One is Gelda, and one is of course the Shalter. And Shalter is not actually summonable anymore because she was a collab unit, right? So if you got her back in the day, you actually have a pretty rare unit. You have one of two, uh, one of two vampires in the game. But I promise you guys, I know Gelda is pretty OP, but Shalter is actually better than Gelda because what Shalter does is actually insane and everybody actually forgot about her. So first of all, what she does with a single target attack is of course... Uh, let me read it for you guys. Inflict exploit damage equal to 150% of attack on one enemy. And what exploit does is this is actually pretty insane. Two times damage dealt and two times crit damage against bleeding targets. Now, her AoE, right? <laughs> Inflicts damage equal to 110% of attack on all enemies in facts for one turn. In fact, in fact, you all know what Infect does, right? Restricts recovery related stats. So no red tar milling for you guys. Then of course you have her passive. So for her passive, what her passive does is increases the hero's basic stats by 7% for every unknown ally in the battle. When the hero deals damage or if an ally takes damage from a skill during the enemy's turn, the hero's HP related stats are increased by 7% up to three times. If there are three or more uh, of this effect at the start of the ally's turn, they are removed and the hero gains the Berserk ability, for, uh, effective for one turn. In addition, targets bleed for two turns when the hero inflicts damage using an all target attack skill. That is actually pretty insane. And what Berserk does is, of course, let me read it for you guys. Attack related stats plus 50%, defense related stats minus 30%, restores 40% of her max HP. That is insane. Also for her Holy Relic, right, what the Holy Relic does is actually pretty good for her. Restores allies HP by 30% of the hero's damage dealt of a bleeding effect. So, she does do a lot with bleeding. Of course, she is a vampire. Honestly, I think she is pretty, pretty damn good if she crits, right? That's that's the only downside about the shelter. If she crits, she can do a lot of damage. She can literally do like a million damage with a level two. That's actually insane in Geert. Unfortunately, we are in Ungeert, but still in Ungeert, she does do a lot of damage. Like I said, she has to crit. So today we are going to try to crit with her. If she does, we are going to do some insane amount of damage. And yeah, that's the whole gameplay for today. So guys, if you like this sort of content, and of course consider liking consider subscribing it really helps out the channel and it honestly makes my day and with that being said guys i hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day and with that being said let's get on to our first match here and of course if you are going to summon on the goater banner please do not summon on the goater banner but if you are going to summon on the goater banner i wish you the best of luck of course and with that being said let's get on to our first match here so for our first match of today we are up against a human team he does go first okay that's pretty interesting he has of course chaos archer a uh bond and of course an lr uh, lr escanor okay that's pretty interesting um let's see okay he focuses my albedo first but that's totally fine albedo is a tank man she's literally a tank to be reckoned with uh then he does a single target attack with the archer okay that's fine too Ooh, okay the LR Escanor is not hitting that hard because he he has like Nanash in the back. And if you don't know, if you want to use like LR Escanor, you have to have a full on human team. So that means uh, that you actually have to have, let's actually focus the bond here. That you actually have to have a um, a human type back unit, right? Otherwise Escanor's whole passive doesn't work. So I don't think he knows that, but that's actually pretty good for us. So first of all, we do an AoE, then we do of course the Shalty AoE, AoE right there. 36k damage, now they are also infected, that is pretty huge, and they have some bleeding on them. Um, what can we do after that? We do have the counter up, that is pretty huge. Can we like one shot? Ooh, let's see, okay, 6k damage, not too good, but that's just because he like, uh, 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 like buffer moved us, right? So, we should be fine, we should be fine. I'm, I'm not too worried about this. Um, well, maybe I should be. <laughs> maybe I should be too worried. Um, okay, so so the comeback is going to be real. I promise, the comeback is going to be insane. So what we are going to do is, of course, we are going to AoE. AoE again. And right after that, we are going to do a single target attack on that Archer Wood, of course, or, uh, or Shalter. And let's see. Okay, the Escanor is going to go in the next turn. 
Right? Okay, Shelter, come on, come on, take down the Escanor. Huge, that is actually massive. 100k damage. Okay, that is massive. We are not gonna do that much damage on Arthur. Yeah, we are not gonna crit because, he, like I said, he has the Nanashi in the back, right? But what we do have is, of course, Shaltir's ult here. The only downside is she is a tech lower than everything. But honestly, I think we should be fine here. Uh, Nanashi's still alive. Okay, that is massive. Not alive any longer, but he was, he was alive. And let's see. Yeah, I don't think Queen Hell is going to go like that. Nah, she's still fine. She's fine. She is fine, guys. Don't even worry about it. But that is a lot of damage with the corrosion, though. That is huge. What I'm going to do is this AoE should be enough for that bond. And then we are just going to ult with Shalter. I know she's like massively attack lowered. But honestly, I think this is the best play. So there goes the bond. That is pretty huge. And now we do the attack from our Shaltir. It is a 1 out of 6 though, but honestly, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, look at that. Almost 200k damage. There goes the Arthur and we already won. We already won. It is that easy. It literally is that easy. Shaltir is like better than Gelda, guys. Confirmed. I promise you guys. It's not Copium, I swear. <laughs> look, at the, look at the ending damage. 82k from bleeding and like 90k from the corrosion. That is, that is actually insane. Okay, let's get on to our second match here. So, for our second match of the day, we are up against kind of like a 7 at least instinct. We do out CC him, and honestly, that is pretty huge. Um, so, I think, first of all, we put up a taunt. Wait, is that... That's like the... Okay, that's not the stun one. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, then we do an AoE, I reckon. And after that, let's just combine the Queen Hell cards. Why not? Let's let's take it easy for once. So that is actually pretty pretty dope because okay so what I wanted to say also in the beginning right is to be fair like Gelda is a vampire right Shalte is also a vampire so was the <laughs> this is so stupid but <laughs> was the Overlord collab actually pay to win then <laughs> because like she is she's a limited time character right I know this is really stupid don't take this too seriously but it's just for fun and laughs right but <laughs> Just, that just came up to me. Like, Shalter is one of the two. Uh, let's actually do this. One of the two um, vampires in the game, right? So she's one of the two vampires in the game. Gelda is the other one. So actually, that's a lot of damage. Damn. That is a lot of damage. That is also a lot of damage for a level one. That's huge. Um... I don't know where my thoughts went. Honestly, I don't even know where my thoughts went. We won our uh, second match, though, pretty easily. But yeah, like... It is pretty funny, though. Like, the only vampire in the game was Gel. If if you don't count Shalter, right, it was Gelda. But because you have Shalter, and Shalter's like a collab character, and she's never gonna come back. Well, maybe she comes back, like, after a year or so. But, like... <laughs> you still have a vampire then, right? <laughs> I know, it's just stupid, but it's funny. Um, so let's do a Queen House ult, let's do an AoE and a single target attack, and then we win our second match. And with that being said, let's get on to our third match then. How much damage is that? 345k, okay, actually not too bad, that's actually not too bad. Then we uh, AoE with our Shalty, 45k damage, but that will be enough. So with that being said, let's get on to our third and our final match of today with, of course, Shalty here. So, for our third match of the day, we are up against a Demon King team. Okay, okay, you know what, we actually do out CC him, so honestly, I think we should be fine here. First of all, let's combine the cards, let's put up a level 2 taunt, let's AoE, and then we should be fine. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, that's a lot of damage with the Queen Hell AoE, though. Um, who had Red Toy Link? I honestly forgot. I think the DK had the Red Toy Link, right? Uh, we will see, we will see. It doesn't actually matter because, yeah, we, we have the shelter AoE, so it doesn't really matter. And can we... No, we can't one-shot counter in the first couple of turns. Okay, 50k damage on the counter, though. That is pretty massive. And, well, may maybe we can take down the Esteros here. Yeah, we can. Okay, that is awesome, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome, I guess. Um, okay, so I want to try something. If we do this, this, and this, right? How much damage is that gonna be? I know she doesn't have the she isn't in the berserk state, but honestly, I think she can do something. Come on. Okay, she didn't crit. That is a lot of damage for not critting. 
That is also a lot of damage for not critting, so I will take that. I will actually do take that. And he has a Kusak in the back. Okay, that's pretty interesting. That's something new. Because a lot of, a lot of DK players, like, use Nanashi in the back. And rightfully so, right? Nanashi is actually pretty damn good. So I actually don't blame them. Uh, we have Shelter's ult now, but unfortunately, or Albedo couldn't make it. But... Yeah, we are fine. Okay, we are. Mm. I wanna I wanna AoE single target attack and then do the ult. How, how much damage are we gonna do on, on that DK melee? I actually wanna know. Okay, so they have bleeding effect now. And let's see how much damage she didn't crit. She did not crit. That's the only downside here. If Shelter does not crit, she doesn't do a lot of damage. But if she crits, that's that's a lot of damage. But yeah, with that being said, guys, this was our last, last match. And if you like this sort of content, of course, consider liking, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. And that will be tomorrow. So, of course, have an awesome rest of the day. And bye-bye.